Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. Let us begin with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I now hand over to Minister Wellington. Minister Wellington, your mic is muted. Hello. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. So we are continuing from yesterday's where we read on page 15. And we are continuing now. And Prophet is recording from the book miracle in your mouth the miracles that we have that we are supposed to be receiving can be manifested if we declare the word of god as it is written in the bible so we continue in genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 god had to speak forth his word from an already existing light into the spirit of manifestation itself, into the spirit, into the physical. You cannot see or get what you speak for. The almighty God had to say before he saw, may you see all that you will say 
in the name of Jesus Christ. God spoke forth light out of the darkness. You are creating in God's image and likeness. So by faith, you can speak forth what you want, regardless of the conduct and circumstances. The word of God that you speak is spirit. It is full of light. And it's very powerful as it's created in John chapter 6, verse 36, and Hebrews 4, 12. So if we speak it, it shall come to pass. The word of God in your heart, released through your mouth, goes into the spirit realm and does not return void, but returns with what you desire to see. Let me read that again on page 16. The word of God is in your heart when it is released through your mouth into the spirit realm. It does not return void, but it returns with what you desire to see. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which it was set to do, and it shall prosper in the thing wherethrough I sent it, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. What prophet is writing here and declaring is that once we can believe in our heart and declare with our mouth the things that are in the spirit realm would manifest itself here on earth. And a perfect example is written in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing wherein I sent it. And he goes on to say, why is it that when we speak, nothing happens? When it comes to creating with the mouth, it's operated in two dimensions, the word of faith and the spirit of faith. You operate the spirit of faith by storing the word of God in your heart. That is what I keep saying over the week. If you don't have the word of God in your heart, when the circumstances or the situation arrive, what are you going to say? What is going to come out of your mouth? If no good thing is coming out of your mouth, no good thing would happen in your life. But you need to have the word of God. The word of God is what assures us. The word of God is what sustains us. The word of God is what provides everything that we need in life. Why is it then that when you speak, nothing is happening? When it comes to creating with your mouth, it's operated in two dimensions, the word of faith and the word and the spirit of faith. And what does prophet mean by that? You operate the spirit of faith by storing the word of God in your heart. The psalmist said, and in it, I meditate on the word of God day and night. And I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth its fruit in due season. What are we meditating on day and night? Are we meditating on the things of God that would sustain us, that would provide for us, that would protect us? What are we maintaining? What are we proclaiming? What are we doing on today? The Bible says in, 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 the, in, in Psalms, he said, and on it and in it, I shall meditate day and night, the word of God. Now, some of us want to operate the spirit of faith without having the word of faith, without the heart of receiving God's word. The Bible says, and if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. So we are seeing the two dimensions there. You are believing in your heart and you are speaking it forward with your mouth and it shall come to pass. Come on. What is that situation? There is no situation that is too large, that is too wide, that is too deep, that is too shallow for God to understand that he can't free you up. There is not a situation that God cannot prevent. There is not a situation that God cannot open a door. But what we need to have, brothers and sisters, is the word of God in our heart. And we need the faith to believe without doubting. And we declare it. Once we declare it with our mouth and there is no doubt, there is no other choice. But God has to act. 
I like to always use Hezekiah. The prophet came and told him, you're going to die. He got up off his bed and he declared to God, I remember what I did for you. When Israel was going astray, I am the one. What can we declare to God today if this situation should arrive? Some of us have to remain silent. Why? Because we don't have the word of God in us that we can declare to God. If there were to be a conviction on you right now and you were to go before the court of God, is there enough evidence to prove that you are a Christian? Is there enough evidence in work, on work, out of work, at home, your neighbors, what do they say about you? Do they hear the word of God coming out of you? That's the question I want to leave you with here tonight as we invite Sister Ferrer to continue us in prayer. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Minister Wellington. Heavenly Father, God, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, O oh God. We magnify your holy name, O oh God, for you are great. You are mighty, O oh God. There is no one else like you, O oh God. We glorify your holy name, for you are high and you are lifted up, O oh God. We exalt you, O oh God. We bow before you, O oh God, for you are the almighty God. You are the creator of the heavens and of the earth, O oh God. You are the I am that I am, O oh Lord God. You are God almighty. You are El Shaddai. You are the Lord of hosts. You are our creator, O oh God, our eternal father, our God most high, the Lord, our Redeemer, our King, O oh God, our salvation, our Deliverer, O oh God. Abba, Father, we glorify you, O oh God, our Shepherd, O oh God, my Father, my Rock, O oh God, we exalt your holy name, O oh God, for there is no one like you, O oh God. You are the great God. You are Abba, Father. You are our King, O oh God. You are our shield. You are our buckler, O oh God. You are our strength and our reward, O oh God. Daddy God, we lift up your name on high, O oh God, for there is no one like you, O oh God. You you are Abba Father, O oh God. You are El Shaddai, O oh God. You are Abba Father. You are Abba Father. We glorify you, O oh God, for you are high and you are lifted up, O oh God. You are our refuge and our salvation, O oh God. We glorify you, our strong and mighty God, our judge, O oh Lord. Abba Father, we glorify you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord, for all that you have done in our lives, O oh God. We thank you, Father God. We are grateful for the gift of life, O oh God. My Father, my King, O oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, because you did not allow the enemy, oh God, to triumph over us, oh Lord God, the eternal rock of ages, oh God, the only wise God, the great I am that I am, oh God. And we specifically, oh God, thank you, oh God, for your love, for your grace and your mercy over our lives, oh God. And according to your word, oh God, we are the battle axe, oh God. Come and use us, oh God, to fight all the enemies, oh God, of the kingdom of darkness, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we wage war against the kingdom of darkness, fighting against our families, oh God. And we invoke the fire of God upon, oh Lord God, our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. My my Father and my God, we destroy all the plans of the enemy over our lives, yes, over our ministry, over our household, yes, oh God, Lord. over our children, oh God, over our destiny, yes, God, over our finances, oh God, over yes, prophetic Lord. embassy, oh Lord God, yes, my yes, Father, Lord. my maker, oh God, thank you, oh God, for sending your only begotten son to die for our sins, oh God, my Lord and my King, oh God, as we pray, oh God, my Father, my King, let the death of thy son not be in vain, oh God, my father and my king, the only wise God, the great I am that I am, oh Lord, daddy God, like every Haman, oh God, in, in our Atlanta. lives and family, oh God, let them be disappointed and disgraced, oh God, just like the way you did for Esther, oh God, place and position us, oh God, where favor shall locate us, oh God, oh God of so Abraham, like Isaac and Jacob, oh God, cause everything in our hands, oh God, that we touch, oh God, and beyond to cross for, oh God, my Father and my King, oh God, let every long awaited miracle, oh God, and test the monies, oh God, be delivered unto us, oh God. Let our delivery of good news, our jobs, employment, oh God, awards and good health happen to us now in our ministry, oh Lord God, yes, my Lord. Father and my King, oh God, take away from Grant us, us favor. and our family, oh God, leave us, oh God, and any man of 
sickness, oh God, any manner, oh God, of untimely death, oh God, and anything, oh God, that you have not placed upon our lives, oh God, take it away, oh God, and scatter it by fire Cancel in the name it, of God. Jesus, my Lord and my King, oh God, my God, my Daddy God, give us the job, oh God, the opportunity, oh Lord God, the ideas, oh Heavenly Father God, that will change our story, oh God, for better in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my King, Abba Father, shift us, oh God, to attain that greater height, oh Lord God, to gain access, oh God, that height of increase and elevation, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that door, oh God, that has refused to open for us, Father, oh God, we open it in Jesus' name. Fathers, oh God, and Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, oh God, we command such doors to sink down in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my King, bring down every ancient gate, oh God, limiting greatness in our lives, oh God, we decree, oh God, and we declare, oh God, let the doors of speed be open for us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we decree, oh God, let the doors of favor, oh God, and greatness, oh God, excellence, oh God, be open for our lives, our ministry, oh Lord God, my Father, my God, come, oh Heavenly Father God, we glorify yourself, glorify yourself in our lives, oh God, in our ministry, oh Lord God, my Father, my King, oh God, in the name that is above every other name, oh God, let your Holy Spirit come and rule in our hearts, oh God, rule in our minds, oh God, rule in our lives, oh God, rule yes, in our God. ministry, oh God, in every member of prophetic... God. God, our visiting members, oh Lord God, each and every one of us here on Zoom this evening, oh God, visit us, oh God, divinely visit us, oh Lord God, and let your presence be known in our lives, oh God. Father God, we need your quick intervention in our lives, oh God. Come and intervene, oh God, in our difficult situation, oh Lord, my Father and my King, any situation, oh God, in every situation, oh God, that has troubled our minds, oh God, come and take it over, oh God. We roll our burdens and our problems, oh God, and our challenges unto you, oh God. Come and take them up, oh Father God. Let your mercy show us, oh God, our portion in this, in the land of the living, oh God. Help us to possess our possession, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Father. We glorify you, oh God. We exalt yes, you, oh God, for you are the we King of Kings. Name. You are the Lord of Lords, oh God. There is and no there one is like none you, like oh God. Jesus. You are El Shaddai, oh God. You are my shield. You are our shield. You are our buckler, oh God. You are the God of prophetic embassy. You are the God of every member on Zoom this evening, oh God. You are the, you are you're the, the God, God of our families, oh God. You are the God of our children, oh God. You are the God of the very breath that we breathe, oh God. You are the God of our finances, our jobs, our health, oh Lord God. You are the God of all gods. There is no one like you. You are the uncomparable God, the unstoppable God, the unshakable, the unmovable God. There is no one like you, oh God. Abba, Father, we glorify you, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. In the mighty special way, oh God, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. We can done thank you, oh Lord God, for the man of God. Commander CSI, oh God. We thank you for his life. We thank you for the very breath that he breathes, oh God. We thank you for your hands upon his life, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for that special grace uh, that you have placed upon his life, oh God. Abba Father, thank you, O oh God, that we have not missed the opportunity, O oh God, for him, O oh God, that you have placed him over our lives, O oh God. Thank you, O oh Lord God, for his life, his family, O oh God. My Father, my King, we thank you, O oh God, for your greatness, your blessings, O oh Lord God, upon our lives, O oh God. Abba Father, we glorify you, O oh God. We worship and we reverence your holy name this evening, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for answered prayers this evening, O oh God. We thank yes, you for your God. love, O oh God. We thank you for your grace. May you continue to bless us, oh God, and give us the grace for speed and a calling in our lives, oh God, wherever you have called us, oh God, give us that grace, the grace to speed, oh God, to move forward, oh God, and to go for higher heights, oh Lord God, excellence, oh God, in everything that we do, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Abba Father, we glorify you, and we thank you for answered prayers this evening, oh Lord God, Abba Father, we thank you, we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory, oh God, and we Thank you, O oh God, for it is done in no other name but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We now enter the 23rd Psalm. Psalm 23. 
Dolores my shepherd. Dolores my shepherd. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside me the still waters. Still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me, he leadeth in, me in the path of righteousness for his oh, name's sake. Yeah, though I walk, I walk the through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall I will fear feel no, no evil. For thou art with me. Art with me. Thy, thy rod and thy staff, thy staff they, comfort they comfort me. me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with my cup and it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Yes, and good afternoon, everyone. Commander, any announcements today? Yeah, no, no announcement. It's just for night program. Let's not forget to be there in the night, and the Lord will continue to bless us. Amen. 12 o'clock. Amen. Amen. We are meeting. God bless you. Amen. Everybody keep safe. And you, the service is the same time. They will make the announcement on the platform. Bless you all. Amen. Also, don't forget, um, prayer warriors, we have... We have a um we have a date tomorrow evening in church Saturday and Sunday morning we there we have a date at eight thirty Sunday morning so don't forget all prayer warriors we we have to be in church tomorrow evening and Sunday morning eight thirty amen 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 praise the Lord. And everybody, save your money to buy prophetic instruction for singles. The book will be coming out next month by the grace of God. It's not expensive.